Hey guys, this is Kyle, um, and welcome to an episode of Kyle Explains a Lot of Things. Now, when we last left off, I went a whole week without technology, without um, social media, no TV, no music really, and I did it for, I believe, six or seven days. I think I got to Friday, and after work, I was like, you know what, we went through the whole week, and we, you know, then I... I started going back to my normal habits, but today I reveal the benefits and the things that I observed when I unplugged for this whole week. Now first things first, what, what kind of things did I notice? First of all, um, you get bored a lot easier. You tend to get a lot of things done, uh, a lot of easy thing, th things done, for example, like cleaning, organizing. Um, working on your passion projects. For me, that's music. So I actually uh, did a lot of recording and mixing and things like that. But I found myself going to bed a little bit earlier because I was like, what else am I going to do? Um, I did a lot of writing and I'm actually still writing a lot, which is awesome. Um, so I really got to explore a lot of things going on and emotions and, and kind of like processing them and, and noticing trends and, and such. Um, but, but the one thing I was actually really curious, would, would I have more energy, uh, in a normal week without being on my phone and doing all that stuff? And the answer to that for me is I actually didn't. I think the biggest thing that I learned that, um, it, it doesn't matter if you're on your phone a lot or if you aren't on your phone a lot, if you don't sleep well, or if you're working if you're working a lot of hours like I was during that week, um, you will still feel burnout. You will still feel like you can't focus that well because, you know, you, you mentally, you know, doing a lot of stuff like I have been doing work. And so, you know, in the beginning of the week, yes, I had a lot of energy. That, that's because, you know, coming off the weekend, but in, in terms of uh, throughout the week, by the end of the week, I still kind of felt the same as if, I was on my phone every day. It, it was the same kind of feeling. So I think the importance really is, don't mind my cat here. Carson's running around. <laughs> he wants to make a lot of noise and that's fine. Um, I feel that the most important things you can realize is really take care of yourself, sleep enough. And I, I think it really honed in the idea, especially this past week, I really started figuring this out. Um, the idea of just taking our time doing things and realizing how, like, for example, when I commute to work, I only live eight minutes from work, so it's not too bad. But I hit red lights and I'll feel a sense of anxiety trying to get to work on time. And it was the most stupidest thing. And I thought to myself, does this really, is this really like going to kill me if I make it late or whatever? He's like, we're going to get there when we get there. And then the idea of just kind of having fun throughout the day, just having fun in your commute, having fun when you're doing dishes, having fun, whatever you're having, creating a good state of mind and a good state of flow and a good state of uh, patience. I feel it's definitely making a tremendous difference. And I wouldn't have really known that if I didn't take that whole week to kind of explore myself without technology. So um, that really does kind of, the roots came from that. And I'm really, I'm really happy about that because it's really kind of changing my mindset. Um, it's making life a lot less serious. I mean, I know it's important to be serious in terms of like, you know, paying your bills, eating right, um, you know, doing a lot of your job or whatever you're doing, your projects. But I feel like a lot of us take things almost too seriously. And we put out that vibe out there, that serious vibe. And I know uh, I'm guilty of that. And so realizing all this, having fun with our lives, uh, you know, taking our time, relaxing, taking a breath. I've been doing a lot of meditations and stuff throughout the year. But really, I, I finally, finally hit me what meditation is really all about. Applying those principles when we meditate and applying them throughout our day, which I haven't been doing. I've been rushing and trying to get things done. I'm like, oh, I don't have enough time to do this task or whatever. And I'm realizing, slow down. If you don't get it done, is it really the end of the world? No, it's not. 
So I think that's really exciting. And um, I think I got what I needed from unplugging, really. Um, even if the one thing was a bummer about the whole energy thing. But uh, I would definitely recommend everyone try it out. For everyone, it's going to be different. Maybe you might have more energy. But you won't know unless you do these experiments. People really don't do this stuff, you know? Like, really, like, create a hypothesis and put it out there. Write about it. Try it out for a week or a month or whatever. Try eating different foods or whatever. And then seeing what you come up with. What could work well or wouldn't work for well for me could be different for you guys. So uh, I would encourage everyone to try these little experiments out. And um, so that wraps up that whole week of uh, unplugging and no technology and all that stuff. And I'm glad to be back on the virtual world. And it turns out I haven't really missed that much. And maybe that's a good thing. So anyway, if you guys enjoy this content, uh, hit subscribe. I'll have some more experiments, some more observations, and some more things to explain. Because I'm Kyle and I explain a lot of things. So I'll catch you guys later. You guys have a great week and enjoy yourselves.